Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your weekend, and I hope all of the mothers in your lives enjoyed a great Mother's Day as well. With flooding continuing along Lake Ontario and some municipal water systems at risk, I joined partners in both state and local government last week to call for speeding up funding to protect water infrastructure. The state Senate led the way in securing a record $2.5 billion investment for water infrastructure. But it is vital that municipalities like Irondequoit and Monroe County have access to these dollars when it matters most. This is only one small piece of a very large puzzle. But I want our lake and bayside communities to know we will do whatever we can to help. I also joined Assemblyman Mark Johns, Penfield Supervisor Tony LaFountain, and the Penfield Town Board last week to call for the restoration of local control over sex offender residency restrictions. When a Nassau County residency law was struck down by the Court of Appeals in 2015, it set a dangerous precedent that handcuffed communities like ours. At the time, Penfield was on the brink of enacting an important Child Safety Act, but the decision prevented the town from moving forward. The Senate has again passed my legislation to give control back to communities, but now the Assembly and the Governor must act, and we hope that will happen soon. As Vice Chair of the Select Committee on Technology and Entrepreneurship, we hosted our first ever Senate Tech Expo last week. Tech companies from across New York, including some from Rochester, were there. The best way we can help them continue to grow jobs and new ideas is to get government off their back and out of their pocket. That will continue to be a top priority this year. Last Monday, we honored New York's fallen officers at the annual Police Officers Remembrance Ceremony. And later in the afternoon, we passed our Community Heroes Protection Act, which would designate crimes committed against police officers and first responders as hate crimes. This legislation alone won't fully address the danger our officers face every time they put on the badge, but it will send a strong message, which is, if you target a first responder, you will be punished to the greatest extent that our laws allow. I hope you enjoy your week. I'm Rich Funky.